Exploding onto the golfing course and smashing every record, Jordan Spieth was destined to be the next great thing in all of golfing history. But then, Jordan had no victories for two years, and he dropped to the 80th rank. What happened to the once mighty Spieth? How did an all-time great golfer slip down his career so fast? And how did the comeback kid get back to the top? Welcome to 24 Golf, your daily dose of golf content. Today we will discuss what happened to Jordan Spieth, so before getting into the list, make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Jordan Spieth Early Life Born on July 27, 1993 in Dallas, Texas, Jordan Alexander Spieth, better known as Jordan Spieth, is a famous American professional golfer. He started to learn golf at Brookhaven, and he first started his golfing career at the same club Brookhaven Country Club. He stood as one of the finest golfers at some point in his golfer career in the PGA tournaments. He was ranked as number one by the World Golf Ranking official. In addition to that, Jordan Spieth was a former winner at the FedEx Cup champion three times. Jordan succeeded at the Masters Tournament in 2015 after a shot of 270 and 18 under for the first time, and he also was rewarded with $1.8 million under his name. Jordan Spieth was also the second youngest golfer after Tiger Woods, who had won at the Masters Tournament, and he was a winner of several Open and Tour Championships. And in 2018, on January 2nd, Jordan got engaged to his longtime girlfriend and incredible gorgeous Annie Verrett, professional golfing career of Jordan Spieth. Jordan Spieth won the U.S. Junior Amateur two times, once at Trump National in 2009 and Gold Mountain in 2011. Even before turning 18, Jordan was ranked as the number one golfer by AJGA Golf Rankings officials, one of the best leagues that encourages the best junior golfers in the world. In 2008 and 2009, Jordan was in second position in the Junior PGA Championship. In 2009, the American Junior Golf Association awarded Jordan Spieth as the Rolex Junior Player of the Year. Later, Jordan succeeded in numerous events and championships that came his way, namely the H.P. Byron Nelson Championship, U.S. Opens, PGA Tours, and the NCAA Championships. Jordan even represented golf for his college at the University of Texas. Adding to all the earlier set events, Jordan Spieth has also been a member of the All Big 12 team the 2011 Walker Cup, and the All-American team. Yet in 2012, when Jordan was just 19 years old, he failed to qualify for the PGA Tour. Missing the cut did not affect him that much, as he determined to turn himself into a more professional player. Jordan decided to partner with Under Armour and BioSteel Sports Supplements for sponsorship in 2013. In the same year, Jordan played the first tour match at the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pines. Here, he missed the cut again, this time by two strokes. However, he made three cuts later in the same year and tied the second position at Puerto Rico and seventh at the Tampa Bay Championship. On July 14, 2013, Jordan Spieth won the John Deere Classic, and he was just shy of a week to his 20th birthday celebration. Jordan was the fourth youngest PGA Tour champion and the foremost teenager to achieve through his continuous victories. His future was looking bright. Moreover, all the victories achieved by Jordan Spieth in 2013 helped him achieve as a top member on the PGA tournaments. Further, the achievements enabled him to partake in the FedEx Cup. Unfortunately, Jordan missed the playoff in Wyndham Championship against Patrick following his winning events. Even after this failure, Jordan endured multiple challenges in different tournaments, such as the President's Cup and Deutsche Bank Championship. Although he did not win various events, he gained the name of the PGA Tour Rookie of the Year. This title was a prestigious one for Jordan. The title earned him the 10th position on the PGA Tour and 22nd on the World Golf Official Ranking List. In 2015, Jordan triumphed the Valspar Championship. It was a three-way playoff with Sean O'Hare and Patrick Reed. Jordan gave a tough fight and beat the game. As a result, he was ranked at 6 in the World Golf Ranking. Later at the Valero Texas Open, he got the second position and missed the cup. However, he was moving to the top positioning in the world's golf ranking, and it was the best moment to date in his golfing career. Jordan Spieth's Hand Injury In early 2018, Spieth suffered from a bone fragment on his left hand while weightlifting, and this injury played a significant role in the incredible downfall from the world's golf ranking where even he refused to touch his golf clubs. Instead of undergoing treatment or arthroscopic surgery, he took the wrong decision to continue golfing, which pushed him to use the weaker swings and grip. Jordan regrets now for his decision and explained how things were difficult for him in those periods. While appearing to the media, Jordan clarified how things were troubling him and explained the decision to avoid surgery for his hand injury, and he stated because of the poor swings and he had a massive downfall. He further added that he is pain-free now but regrets having fought with his couch, McCormick, to help him strengthen his grips due to the pain he was suffering, and he felt it was not a big deal. 
and he said that he tried to play the best he could every day. The pain worsened at the end of 2018 when he and Justin played at the Paris Ryder Cup, and it was indeed a difficult time where he had to play with severe pain. Jordan worked on re-strengthening his grip, and the pain is gone, and he improved his game and made a serious comeback. Even though there are where a few hiccups, his overall game improved significantly, and he is again on the top 20 world ranking. What an incredible accomplishment! Jordan Spieth's return to Kapalua has been long as he did not play any event because of not winning for four straight years. No one is aware about what was Jordan thinking about his four-year depletion from the game. Jordan, in a statement, said he could pinpoint where he taught to be getting off the track and not sure how to fix them, and he added that there was some misdirection for a couple of years. He further adds that he also felt that he needed to turn back and go again in the right direction. The Comeback of Jordan Spieth when you take a glimpse at Jordan's tour performances, he was a successful player. Jordan is trying to fix things right now, and he says he is honestly trying to bring back his old DNA. He further adds that he is really looking to get back to the DNA from earlier golfing days from school, college, his first few years on tour, and trying hard to gain his strength back. Jordan Spieth is working on improving his body and focusing on his movement instead of relying on his hands. He further adds that it is tough to play on PGA Tour depending on timing, and it's tough to play consistently for all four rounds. Spieth knows well how to bounce back and start at the PGA Tour events. For a while, his torment was he could easily play well through the first two rounds, and he would miss the tracks during the third round. It appeared to make no logic, but it happened for Jordan repeatedly, making him complete the 2020 third round season ranking at the 165th position. But then in 2021, Jordan Spieth started the year strong with multiple top five finishes. He played his way to his 12th PGA Tour victory and 15th global win at the Valero Texas Open. He managed to tie for third place at the 2021 Masters. Jordan is gaining back his confidence, and trusting the process was a key factor that helped him come back and become Be The Comeback Kid. He is one of the best players on the tour, and with his recent performances, he is back at the top and the future looks bright again. Jordan's Net Worth Jordan Spieth was a successful golfer. It is not surprising that Jordan has made an enormous fortune for himself. Presently, Jordan has a whooping net worth of $110 million. Most of his earnings were through brand endorsements and tournaments. He has collaborations with Rolex, AT&T, Club Champion, Brightspot, NetJets, Titleist, Under Armour, and Full Swing. According to 2021 Sportivo, Jordan ranks fifth highest paid golfers globally and has reportedly made close to $29.6 million in 2021, out of which he has gained $4.6 million as prize money alone. Jordan also launched the Jordan Spieth Family Foundation, inspired by his sister Ellie, which provides financial assistance and a platform for supporting children with special needs, military families, junior golf programs, and pediatric cancer. This was a lifelong dream for Jordan. What do you feel about this golfer who made success both in his golfing and business career? What an incredible comeback! What do you think the future will bring for Jordan? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss a video from us. Thank you for watching.